Okay, so here we go again today. Uh, it's a new day. Got a new hat. Got a new pleb shorts on. Feeling pretty good. Uh, we're going to change the air filter out. Basically, um, if, if you own a bike or you're working on a bike and you've had the bike a couple years or you're working on the bike and you ask the customer or whoever, you, whoever you know, you're working on their bike and you ask them if they've ever replaced their air filter and they say no, it's probably time to replace the air filter. A lot of people don't realize, like here in Illinois, um, we have large temperature changes throughout the season. So bikes sweat. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, when you have engines that have oil and aluminum radiators with antifreeze and fluid in it, during the winter time they'll get cold and as they start to kind of warm up and whatnot, your engine will actually get sweat. Um, that'll run through your whole engine and create rust and all kinds of problems. Um, same thing with your airbox. You can get moisture inside your airbox and uh, most air filters are paper filters. Um, we're going with an MGO uh, air filter. I think these are the people that make um, air filters for, they're the manufacturer for Honda. I, I, I believe so and they've also done work for uh, some Italian companies I think. I think Ducati's used them as well. The quality filter, you can actually buy one of these through the links below. That purchase will really help me through um, Amazon. But uh, this is a pretty simple process here. We're going to take the seat off, lift the tank, pull the air filter out. There should be five or six screws. Put the new air filter in. Boom, bang, we're done. And uh, yeah, so this bike, I think I'm going to change out the suspension next uh, video. and Or not change it out. Um, I did ride this bike. It seems really stiff. So we're going to set it back to the factory settings and then, yeah, we'll just keep going from there and there'll be a playlist in the description below so you can go through and see everything that's being done to this bike real quick like. It'll take you right to my playlist page on my uh, YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, let's get started. And we just have... A uh, size four Allen head here. And there's just two uh, two bolts on this gas tank, and I really doubt I I haven't looked yet, but this gas tank should just pop up. And I was hoping there was a prop rod on it, but I kind of doubt that there is. There's your air filter location, and there's one, two, three, four, five, uh, five screws, and this actually has a Suzuki air filter in it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I bet that's the original air filter. This bike has like 15,000 miles on it, and I don't see a prop rod on the tank. So let me get a screwdriver real quick, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this. gas tank propped open just like that and as you can see here you're just gonna re we're just gonna remove all five of these screws and then put the new filter in and put the screws back we will just remove well, maybe we won't. You need to make sure that you have the right Phillips screwdriver for the Phillips head. Ah, ah! I almost guarantee this is the original air filter. It may not be, but ah, I'm guessing it is. And as always, uh, check the links below. Any purchases from the links below really help me help support me on my channel. Uh, I'm an Amsoil T1 certified dealer. Any questions on the Amsoil stuff, you can reach me direct through my email. And uh, I have some tools and parts listed under Amazon. I'm also an Amazon associate. So any purchase through the Amazon links, those really help me out. But I'm going to start... Uh, 
a new series called Tool Tuesday where I'm going to start reviewing tools. Um, I'm just now getting settled down in my house, so I, I need a little bit of time to get this all situated. This YouTube channel is about to change. Then that's all the filter is. It actually don't look too bad, but it's getting replaced. Get the new filter out here. What I usually like to do is make sure <laughs> make sure before you rip stuff apart that the filters are basically the same. And they are. I'll tell you another company that makes decent aftermarket stuff is actually a company called uh, Caltric, C-A-L-T-R-I-C. Everything that they make is reasonably priced and they actually are good quality uh, parts. Okay and now time for the reinstall here. I actually need to flush and fill the radiator on this bike and oh that's a tight fit just make sure you kind of press this down and make sure that this is okay that it's going to fit okay and then we're going to change out the thermostat uh, the radiator fluid and the radiator hoses When we tighten this back up, we're going to kind of go in a star pattern. I'm not sure what the actual manual says, but that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to get it snug to the to the air filter. This is hard plastic, and then we're going to go into a star pattern. Just like when you're changing a uh, tire on your car. And now we're going to go back and tighten it. I'm going to start on this top side. go to the front right now we're gonna go to the top left back to the back right and now to the front left Ugh. then we're just gonna double check Sure, we got it, got it all the way tight. And we're just gonna lower the tank back down and put our two Allen head four bolts back in. And then just reinstall your two Allen head bolts back in. try to start it. It's cold so we'll see if it affects the start at all. Let's get this puppy fired up. Fuel pump kicks on. If you ever have that problem on this bike, fuel pump don't activate until the start switch is hit. You can hear it running.
Okay, so there you go. Real basic uh, video on uh, changing the air filter. If you haven't changed your air filter out, uh, definitely get that changed out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Check the links below. Any uh, purchases really help me out. Thanks, guys. And gals.